Hello everyone, I'm Anuj Nakade and you're watching Life Law. Last week, the Madhya Pradesh High Court granted conditional bail to three accused, including the female principal of the Ganga Jamna School, who were arrested in connection with the Ganga Jamna School hijab row in Madhya Pradesh. The school is currently being investigated by the state government on the allegations that the school management was forcing non-Muslim girl students to wear hijabs. The matter came to light in May this year when a poster of state board exam toppers from the school was displayed outside the school. This poster allegedly contained pictures of non-Muslim girls wearing hijabs. After this, some of the people managing the school were arrested under the allegations that female students were being forced to wear a hijab with the dress. When they did not wear hijab to school, they were being compelled to wear one by them. It has also been alleged that the school management was teaching Urdu as a compulsory subject and prayers belonging to the faith of Islam were being recited and taught in school. It has also been alleged that students who belong to Hindu and Jain religions were prevented from putting on tilak on their foreheads and were also prohibited from tying a kalava, a sacred thread worn on the wrist in their faith. The principal along with the teacher and one person of the non-teaching staff were arrested under Section 295A, 506 and 120B of the Indian Penal Code along with Section 75 for cruelty against children and Section 87 for abetment of cruelty against children of the Juvenile Justice Act along with Sections 3 and 5 for forced conversion under the Madhya Pradesh Freedom of Religion Act 2021. A single judge bench of Justice Dinesh Kumar Paliwal heard the application of bail for the principal and two other accused today. The accused submitted before the court that the photos of the girl students wearing headscarves or hijabs show that headscarves had been made mandatory by the school management and not by the teachers and the principal. They also argued that the principal and teachers only follow the instructions given by the school management. The counsel for the state of Madhya Pradesh argued that the accused cannot force the students to wear hijab or prohibit them from wearing a tilak or kalava. The court, after hearing both sides, noted that after the investigation, a charge sheet has been filed against the applicants, who are the principal, the teachers and the peon of the school, while the main allegations in the case are against the management of the school. The court also observed that the trial of the case would take some considerable amount of time and without expressing any opinion on the merits of the case, the court granted bail to the accused persons. The court has however imposed conditions on the accused to not repeat the commission of this offence of which they are being released on bail and to ensure that they do not prevent students of other religions from wearing essentials of their religion such as a kalava or a tilak. The court has also imposed the condition that the students should not be compelled to read or study any material or language which has not been approved by the Madhya Pradesh State Board and that no religious education or material belonging to the Islamic faith will be provided to the students. Only the modern education contained in Section 53.1 of the Juvenile Justice Act will be imparted onto the students in the school. The court directed in the bail order saying, and I quote, Girl students of other religions, that is Hindus and Jains, etc., shall not be compelled to wear a headscarf or a hijab anywhere in the school premises or in the classrooms. The court also thought it fit that the accused be released on bail on furnishing a personal bond of rupees 50,000 each with one solvent surety. The court's order further reads, and I quote, Applicants released on bail on their furnishing a personal bond incorporating the aforesaid conditions in the sum of rupees 50,000 each with one solvent surety each in the like amount to the satisfaction of the trial court for their regular appearance before the trial court during the trial with a condition that they shall appear before the concerned court on all dates fixed by it during the trial. That's all we have for you in this video. Hope you found this video informative. If you did, please leave a like and tell us in the comments how we can shape our content to bring you your legal news in more engaging ways. If you'd like to support us in bringing you more legal updates like this, please consider joining our channel as a member for only Rs 89 per month. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Thank you.